and well, they just called me from school that the hives are spreading. What is going on, buddy? It's just been like a bumpy, a bumpy start, right? Oh, Ember has some very, very exciting news. Boats. Come on. Buddy just woke up. He's not have. This is the second day. He's woke up with hives on his hands, all totally swollen. What is going on, buddy? Let's see what we can do about Ow. those hands, okay? All right, I don't know how well you can hear us because we got our masks on, but we are at the doctor's. Let's see your hands. So they're starting to turn him over. They're really hot and they're starting to hurt him. Like, I don't know if you can see, like right here, there's a little bump and right here, there's a little bump. They're really starting to hurt him, so. They're just so swollen, it's the weirdest thing. So we're just gonna try to figure it out. He really wants to be able to play in a soccer game tonight, so. And this is the other thing he really wants to do. This morning has been full of hiccups, all right? We've got some hiccups with the cabinets. So you can see there's nobody here but me. They are beautiful, but they're not complete. So. Um, we had some stuff come up, so we can't quite finish the cabinets today. We had some stuff come up with the flooring. I thought that I had ordered this certain type of flooring, but I didn't. Um, anyway, so it's just been like a bumpy, a bumpy start, right? On top of the fact that you guys saw Bodhi's hands were covered in the hives this morning. Well, they just called me from school that the hives are spreading. Another thing that's stressful about the cabinets is they had to put these up here in our house and we can't let the kids like touch them. No, no, no. So stressful. All right, so these are the other flooring. This is the flooring we have. We have to decide what we're gonna do or if we're gonna switch to like this one. Oh, I don't know. But in the meantime, Bodhi's rash on his hands is swelling more, so I need to go pick him up from school. So Jay and I are loading up and heading out. You know, I guess it's, I wanna be frustrated and you want to just get angry, right? But it's, I don't want it to ruin my whole day. It is what it is. We're gonna make the switches that we need to make. Oh, four's going down, four's going down. Uh, uh. Four's going down. We're just gonna make the changes that we need to make and we're just keep moving forward with our project. It's fine. All right, JJ, let's go. I mean, how can I not be happy when I've got this cute boy to hang out with all day? JJ, did you know I missed you when I was on my trip? I missed you so much. Yeah, did you miss me? Super, super, super. <laughs> Where should we go? Super, super. Um, car wash. He's been saying car wash, car wash, car wash. So I think maybe when we go get Bodhi from school, we'll also go to the car wash. Car, car wash, car wash. We all love the car wash. All right, we got our Bodhi. We got our Ember from school. Bodhi, let's see your hands. <laughs> How are they feeling? Still rough? Yeah. Yeah. I think we're gonna call a dermatologist, see what we can figure out. He also has the hives on his feet now and they're kind of crawling up his wrist, so we'll see what's going on. We gotta go to the car wash too. Car wash. Hey, Ember Bear. <laughs> and we've got Murphy. I don't know how he's gonna feel about the car wash. We're about to find out. Murphy, looking out the window. Rainbow. <laughs> he's scared. Jay loves the car wash. Amber just said it smells delicious. It does, it smells good. It smells like Starburst. Delicioso. out of the car. Okay, we're thrown right back into the swing of things. Day one, we're back. Bodhi has to come home from school. The whole cabinet issue, everything, but that's okay. Now we've got Bodhi's soccer game.
job, bud. Thanks. That was a good game. Give me some knuckles. Bodie did a good job. He started off a little slow. I think part of that was just the Benadryl, the allergies, right? But then what happened? Did you get mad? Did you play harder? Did you crush it? You crushed it. You, Dude, your hair looks so cool in the sun right now. Ooh, you have golden hair. Should I start calling you Goldilocks? <laughs> All right, let's go home. Okay, uh, Bodie and I are home. We've got his prescription. We still don't have a kitchen sink. <laughs> kind of forgot about that. I walked in the house and I was just like, oh, no kitchen sink, no dishwasher. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun three weeks. Yeah, yeah, three, if not more. And then we've got, Jay, what you doing? He's a maniac. What's happening? See, what you think? Go. Oh no. <laughs> Don't fall off the bed. Oh, this kid, he has endless energy. Don't fall off, Jay. Don't fall off. Oh, careful, careful with Murph. Careful with Murph. Oh, Murph, you're not in a good Jenny spot. Just yeah, Murphy, girl. Murphy, you're come here, here, move him, move him, move him, so he doesn't get fallen on. Grab him, grab him. Come here, Murphy. Come here, Murphy. Come here. Good boy. This is living right here, you guys. Are you jealous of our kitchen remodel now? Ember has some very, very exciting news. What is it? Dun da da da. I lost a tooth. She lost a tooth. You, and guess what? When I knew what it happened when I lost it, it was real, it was just hanging. And um I was it, well it wasn't just really hanging, but I was just like this with my tongue. And it pushed it out, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Her tooth was so loose she pulled it out with her tongue. It was so crazy. But, so now she's got a loose tooth, but the problem is we can't find the Ziploc bags because, you know, because of our glamorous, re glamorous remodel. So she was very smart, because we usually we keep our Ziploc bags in this top drawer right here, but this is a different cupboard, and it's empty. And they emptied it when the babysitter was here, so I don't know where everything got put. So, I'm on the hunt for many Ziploc bags. Until then, Ember was a very creative. Where'd you put your tooth? Hey, where'd you put it? Oh. She found a little medicine cup and she put her tooth in the medicine cup and she's putting it by the side of her bed. I think it's genius, Ems. <laughs> okay, well, if you want that tooth fairy to come, you better go to bed. Ooh! Did I do this in how we? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the kids are gonna get ready for bed. We are gonna get ready for bed. I cannot even begin to explain how good it felt to sleep in our own beds last night. When our alarm went off this morning, Derek and I were both like, oh, we don't wanna wake up because it just was so nice to sleep in our beds. So we're gonna get the kids in bed and go to bed again, because that's what you do. All right, Ember, go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Murphy's going to bed. <laughs> I'm going to sleep too. <laughs> you stinker. <laughs> all right, we got the kids all in bed. We're ready for bed and we have to go to bed because we need the tooth fairy to come for Ember. So, she's so excited. We were not expecting her to lose her tooth tonight at all. So, that was really fun. It's fun to watch the kids experience these new things. And it just feels weird being in our house right now because it's just this constant state of chaos. So don't worry, it's fine. It's fine, everything's fine. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Thanks, bye.